Los Angeles gang members and hoods that was bangers from West Side, BPSs, Rolling 30s, 60s, 8 trays, 40s, neighborhoods, the, the branch of the neighborhoods, like three different branches from the 40s on down, from the 60s. I'm talking about real Crips in this festivity. They go here every year. This they thing. Feel me? So I'm on a mission to break my little homies in to show them, all right, look, this is what you life. This is what y'all going to choose. This is what banging is really all about. Feel me? This, this is what you, you this is what you choose. So I'm not knowing that on the other end, upstairs, up top, the BPSs, two six deuce brims, and about six um, BPSs is up top. I didn't know that the, the, the G Homie Mugs and Tonestone sent them young mm -hmm. on a mission. You feel me? Mm -hmm. As far as I, right, you know, talking about they banging and you know they 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 got heart. So they said, all right, the Bunny Hunters is going to uh, Summer Jam. They sent the crew in. But I didn't know this though. So all of a sudden I hear a bunch of commotion up top and you see people running and hollering and screaming. Let's stop. So so when y'all first entered the, the, the venue, was everything it was was everything gravy? No, I, I'm, I'm, let me give you the interest. All right. We pull up, first of all, before we can get there, my little homie Scrap flipped his car over, tumped tumbled his car over on the 110 freeway, tumbled his car over five times. We pushed that out of the curb, put him in another car, we kept it pushing. Feel me? Because under no circumstances, I said, we ain't turning around. Who Those who want to turn around, go back to the hood, go ahead. But the rest of us, we ain't turning around. We end up five of us, seven of us. We going to the summer jail. Because I'm pumping these niggas up to show these niggas. It's going to be some real action, nigga. Feel me? Yeah. I already know how it's going to go down. I'm supposed to get my ass whooped too. Feel me? I know what's going to happen. But nigga, this is what happens when you bang it. So, the only OGs was me, Big Hitman, and La Boy uh, Dirty Day. Them the only three OGs. Everything else YGs. And we picked up four of my homegirls. They was on the mission. They was just going up there. And they females, but they bangers. And they had that third generation. These my young homegirls, you feel me? And so our number vast and went up to like 20, I think it was 27 when the homegirls came, we add that four, you feel me? So when we get out of our cars and park, we get to the uh, entrance, the gray streets, some of them are still in the front. It's still the gang of Crips in the front trying to get in, in the ticket booth sound. Now I'm already then made communication with one of the gray street niggas and we coming through, man, we need to get some tickets, which was T.I., OG T.I. from gray street, you feel me? T.I. to Townsend, you feel me? So when we get there, by the time we get there, T arguing with one of his homies because now the tickets is show. They didn't took like 10 of our, our tickets. So when I get that to T, that shit, you know, them niggas, we, we need them tickets, homie. So instead of, we getting into a ball of confused right then there, they end up giving us the extra two tickets. We went on in, got our shit in. When we get in there, soon we get in, we getting ready to try to make our way to go sit down right where the, um, um, where the stage is, but it's a, it's it's which it's something you, in the pit. Okay. But we, when we get ready to work our way to the pit, the Muslims cut us off and told us, "Nah, nah." We tell them, "What you mean, nah, homie?" I said, "Man, that's, that's all us down there. Them the watch, homie. That's the watch car." So, uh, the Gray Streets, little Kaka, his whole little crew, his car, Nardo, Nutsack. Shout out to my two young niggas, man, for that side, man. Real ones, you feel me? Right, real, straight, real riders, man. Feel me? And we walking in, so my little homie Baby G, which is out of their generation, rest in peace to Baby G, Baby G fucked with them heavy. Now they, they was in their same generation, went to school and all that shit together, right? Mm -hmm. So, Lil Bleak walking behind me on my right shoulder, Lil Bleak, rest in peace, man. Shout out to my little homie Bleak, man. Straight up, DJ Bleak, man. Oh, Feel Bleak me? was there? Yeah, man, I'm finna <laughs> tell you what happened to Bleak man, through the whole Peter, course. All right, Peter Bleak, Yeah, Bleak man. was right there, man. So. Um, and he was pumping it up too to all yeah, yeah nigga, that's how the old G's ride, nigga. Yeah, my, my daddy, ooh, yeah, see, we, we, you niggas, we getting tested, nigga. Yeah, you know, he was telling niggas we on our way out there, you feel me? So, like I said, we get there and the mothers go to split us up. 
And Kaka and them spotted Baby G and them spotted some of the little homies and said, Woo! Gave the little Gray Street uh, uh, chatting. And then, you know, we whoop, whoop back to them. And that's what told them, see, they go the homies right there, nigga. So they, we open the grab, we bridged on down. So we go down there, fuck with the homies, we chilling and shit. It's a watch car thing. We got the whole pit locked down. Gray Street is about, no Zaz Race, them niggas was at least about 50. It, the number had to be at least 50. At least 50. They look like 100. Yeah, it, I, that's what I'm just saying. It was so many of them yeah. motherfuckers, feel me? Say, it was at least about 50, nigga. Feel me? And uh, and they were spreading out, bro. You feel me? And so we come in the pit. Some of the, you know, some of the niggas, when we come in, we, we come in, we greet each other, and, you know. A lot of my little homies who know some of their little YGs, they greet each other, shake your hands. Then we sit down, we getting ready to start enjoying the concert. So we start lighting up, smoking, chilling. In the process of us chilling, all of a sudden, I look up, I say, wait a minute. I said, damn, what's all that commotion up there? So I'm like, man. I look down, okay, boom. Then all of a sudden, my phone rang. It's Muggs on the phone. It's Tombstone. So I, he passed the phone to TTS, tell me, what's up, love one? And we talking. He said, yeah, man, a few of the homies and the young Dice is up in there. Young Dice, which is the homegirl. You know what I'm saying? She's a butch, but she's a rapper. Mm -hmm. And she was on Big Mug's label at the time. You feel me? And so uh, I said, what? I said, Dice in a minute? So I said, wait a minute. This must be them up here, man, with all the commotions. Because these niggas have been going at it for like at least 10 minutes, back and forth. And then they stopping and going. And the concert is just now finished starting. haven't started yet. So you know how it be intermission times and shit? Yeah. So I said, okay. So I get off the phone. I call Baby G. And now I hit, hit. I said, brother T, I said, man, them the homies up there, man, from the west side, dog. We gotta go get these niggas, bud. I said, I just got off the phone with the homies, man. Them the homies right there. I said, see them, see them niggas in the red. You can see some burgundy and shit in the red, bro. Feel me? Then niggas had their shirts off, right? Mm -hmm. So we mount up. Now when we mount up, the Gray Streets is looking at us. So my little homie, baby Al, is like your size, but he a youngin', big old bruiser, and he bow leg. One of his legs is real bent. When he walk, right? Yeah. And the niggas a squabble, he's a boozer, right? So I tell baby out, lead the way, baby out. So as we going up, he like part the So niggas moving out our way, we walk up the side stairs. So once we get make it to the stairs, we get up the stairs, we get up the stairs, when we get up the stairs, before we can get up the stairs, the Harlems didn't already took off. They took flight. They didn't. They didn't broke through the, the Muslims little bridge because the Muslims start holding their hands like this to try to hold motherfuckers back. Got side of war, Crips over here, and got the bloods over here, right? Man, them niggas broke through the Muslims and was on the homies, right? Now the young homies, they looped up. Them niggas ain't giving a fuck about Nathan. They came there to bang. Them niggas had the red flags in their head, had them on their head, had them in their pocket. We had them red, but we didn't have no flags on us, right? <laughs> them niggas was just flagged up, right? So.